calm Wednesday started, mm -hmm. a bit of um, you know um, light showers in the morning. Mm -hmm. I thought the whole day was going to be you know filled with um, rain and all, but you know the weather still eventually it maintained. It maintained exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Eve on Radio on Metro 97.7 FM, where the ladies dissect, analyze, sometimes cause some you know tables to shake. Mm -hmm. As they hop, the of table, course, yeah. So we together. break the table, we put it back together, we break it again, we mend it like men did, but, but we're not carpenters, <laughs> of course. <laughs> we tell you how it is. Welcome to Eve once again. I'm Metro 97.7 FM with the ladies. I am Akuna Ema. Of course, you can call me Cookus, mm. and I'm excited to be here this evening. And we have a hot topic today, as usual. Now, you know how we do it, we have something very scintillating, something our parents used to do back then. <laughs> and then you know it's still in even to be here right my name is noga thank you for having me right <laughs> All right, my name is Yinka Kenny, and you folks call me YK. Mm -hmm. Any other Yinka Kenny is what? A counterfeit. Perfect. Good to be here this evening. <laughs> All right, just before we introduce the topic, to say a very big birthday to Noga. Her birthday was on Sunday. Yeah. 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 Although she didn't bring the cake. Yeah. 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 Wish her a happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. The bell is somewhere yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, many more years in good health, yeah. 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 wealth, and joy. Yeah. Yeah. For today is matchmaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matchmaking. Let me break it down. Matchmaking. Bigger words. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> when that auntie or uncle or mommy or daddy calls and says, <clears throat> Chine, do there's one girl mm -hmm. in church that I like for you. Mm -hmm. The girl, the way she's looking, I think she will fit you perfectly. Mm -hmm. Or one mommy will call and say, Joy, mm -hmm. there's this nice single man who oh, He's doing well. He works in so and so place. I think he's looking for a wife, and I think you'll be perfect for him. Mm. That's just it. We're talking about matchmaking. <laughs> Does it still apply in this age and time, or is it an old method of bringing two people together? So, as a lady, is it a no-no for you? And what are the disadvantages? So, basically, we're just going to be talking about all of that. We'll break it down. We'll dissect it. And remember, it's purely conversational, Lagos. Do mm. call us. Um, and joining the conversation last week was heated. Mm. We ah. had loads of calls, we didn't really talk. So, the number to call us, um, 081 060 81681. I'll take it again 0810 608 1681. Or you can call us on 0818 202 5883. Um, a lot of marriages in the old days are actually as a result of matchmaking. Match yeah. Some didn't even know each other at mm. all. They just said, oh, party A, yes, and party B, very you very are getting married, boom. Mm. You know, but as opposed to the more um, modern style of matchmaking that we have now. What do you mean? What do you mean? Please. <laughs> is it okay, modern? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? It's more modern, modern now tell, because... Tell me about modern ma Before, they would just say, oh, this family and this family are interested and they'll just join the two children. They'll get married. That's the first time they'll meet each other and they'll just start. Mm. But the modern form now is, you know, with the phone calls, hello, um, Joy, I, I, there's this guy in my church mm. or I have this um, nephew mm. abroad mm. and he's looking for a wife to settle okay. down with, you know. <laughs> and I, he, 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 I expect the way he described it and you're a good girl. Mm. I think you should let, I, will, I think I should introduce you know, both, both of you together. and you like each other and then you would, that's matchmaking so mm. they will talk with each other and they, they will take it from there, mm. it's not like the final step, as opposed to the old days where they will just carry you to your husband's house <laughs> and don't be exactly, there. so I just want to know um, from you ladies do you think uh, it's a good idea matchmaking, do you think it works, what are the disadvantages, is mm. it does it work for you? Do you think it will be okay if someone mm. should match make you or you prefer mm. to search for your own prey and mm. strike? Which mm. one? Let me come from the angle of a matured woman that has a daughter mm -hmm. and that has a son. Mm -hmm. You know, long before now, I, I could have had you know a different opinion to say that it's a no-no. But now I look at my my son growing up to be a man, and I tell you I have the secret fear of the wife is going to marry. Hmm. And I tell you at times I feel like I wish I can get him a wife. Seriously, <laughs> honestly, 
Honestly, at, because at times, you know, you're just there with the fear of, you see a lot of women outside and you want to imagine, ah, oh God, if this boy eventually gets, gets a, a bad, a bad wife. girl. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, and, you, and let me tell you uh, uh, something that even happened. I think it's about two years now. I have a very close friend. She has a son, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful boy that I admire also. Do you know, one day, she said to me, she said, Girlfriend, what do you say about matchmaking? I said, ah, we will have to just see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, she went on and on and on and on and on. And I tell you, for so much, a long period of time, you know, I started not seeing it that, ah, maybe when these children are growing up, we we'll, mm. will try and create unconsciously. We won't take them. Mm. <laughs> because by the time you tell them, <laughs> you know the way these children are, yes. you won't tell them. Just try and create to be an outing, you know, something that would not be bringing them together, <laughs> yeah. bringing them together, bringing them together. You know, so, you know, that's the thought of a matured, you know, mother. So I can visualize what was in our parents' mind at that time okay. they were doing that those matchmaking honestly for me now i would say it's it's really not a bad idea mm -hmm. honestly <laughs> now for me i would say it's not a bad idea but at the end of the day i would i would say both of them it shouldn't be a thing of force even if you're gonna match make oh this person is not a bad person allow them to flow if they if they are able to you know click Fine. Oh well and good. Yeah. Yeah. But if they cannot, well, let them be. Mm -hmm. Be that's it. All right, Joy, what do you so, think? Some people will say I was the one that you know <laughs> joined <laughs> them. you people mm -hmm. together. So this marriage must work. Was work. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be like that. For me, matchmaking, matchmaking, matchmaking. Mm. Mm. Well, oh, hello. <laughs> for me, matchmaking is not a bad idea. No, no, no. But I would prefer to to hunt for my man. Let me hmm. put it that way. <laughs> you lie on I, would, I, would, I would prefer to do it by myself. I would prefer to, you know, meet the person all by myself. You can just get talking and maybe start up a relationship from there. <laughs> I don't like a situation whereby somebody will tell me this person is good. And, you know, because when you go into such relationship, the person that brought both of you together want to see that everything it, yes, it works. will work. Work As in, you know, even when you <laughs> complain that ah, this person is doing like this, so you ah, that this is a good man. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, so yeah. I prefer to yeah. hunt my man. Yeah. I prefer to meet him mm. all by myself and mm. start up a relationship from there. Mm. All right, uh, Chichi actually stood up because she said <laughs> she wants to say something. So let's hear what you want to say. Yeah, um, it goes in two ways sometimes matchmaking is not good mm -hmm. why because i've come to realize that most times the person even doing the matchmaking mm -hmm. does not even know the two the, parties exactly. well yeah do you understand yeah and it happens such that eventually when it culminates in marriage mm -hmm. and problems begins Starts. to creep you know he goes back to the person who did the matchmaking. Mm. The middleman. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has happened to me. Mm. I told this lady, look, try and find out some things. Look at what and what I know about this guy. Mm. Find out certain things, you know, other things, because mm, yeah. this is all I know about. Yeah. Mm. Just, I never just, told him that he was, she, she, I, I never told her that. He was a perfect man. Exactly that he was very, very perfect. Mm. Eventually, they got married. Mm. So by the time they started having their first issues, mm. it came back to me. Mm. And I was one, I, I, I said, I never told you in such a way. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I told you this and this are the basics I mm. know, but you try and find out more. Mm. And yourself. at the end of the day, Two of you came back to tell me that you were good with each other. Mm. And you felt you, in fact, the way the two of you were head over heels with each other, I, I was happy because I did the matchmaking. Mm. I was so happy. Mm. And I gave you people 
uh, a thumbs up and go ahead. Mm. And now you're turning to blame me. Mm. <laughs> How am I to blame in all these things? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I wasn't. Anyway, long story short, mm. whatever the problem was, they later got resolved their parents it. to mm. resolve, resolve it for them. Mm. But it taught me a bitter lesson. But are they still together today? Yes. They're still together. Even but you've though, washed your hands off. Even everything. though without, it's not without problems. Mm, because of course, of they course, like everyone. strangers living in the house. Oh my God. Um, no, it's bad. It taught me a very bitter lesson. Oh, big lesson. But at times, matchmaking could be good. Mm. It, I've seen people who were match yeah. made and they turned out well. Mm. Yeah. After all, uh, we have a program here. Uh, cruise connect yeah. and a lot of people have got married yeah and their marriages are doing so well mm. 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 you know marvelously well mm. so it Thank goes you. And <laughs> he, even a, a former colleague a former colleague of mine she you know the, the person that Matt met them you know they he knew a he knew b mm. and he just he, he's been hammering on a he knew them separately to get married. The B to get married. One day, without the knowledge of both of them, he just said, according to him, he said it's even on their wedding day, but we had known before the wedding day. He just said, he just thought in his office to say, ah, come on. See, I'm shouting on this one to marry. I'm sending on that one to marry. Why can't two of them? He just invited A, invited B, both of them to his office. Come and see me. They both of them jammed in the office and blah, blah, blah. And he said, ah, look. This one is looking for a wife for that one. I'm telling you, this is as well. <laughs> and they're happily married, though, even mm, till today. Wow. They're yeah. happily married till today. That's a success story. Yes. Yeah, you can call us. All right, um, feel free to call us on 0810 608 1681. I'll take it again 0810 608 1681. You can also call us on 0818 202 5883. 0818 202 5883 good does it work for you uh if we look at the definition it's a person who tries to arrange marriages or romantic relationships between two people another word for it is called the fixer hmm. cupid hmm. shad can hmm. go between hmm. marriage bureau dating coach dating expert hmm. and dating agency hmm. we, what we do here like the cruise connect you know try to connect people and yeah. all so let me come to um, you, Noga. And let me let me put my own. My people will say it's Alari. Okay, Alari. <laughs> <laughs> Noga, tell me more. Have you ever had this experience? Yeah, was my, it positive? My, my, yeah, my grandma, that's how she got married. She was just brought to her, her husband and they live very, very happily. Hmm. You know, so oh. why, is it, why is it that it works have, then? No, it's still but working it's not, now. I have a cousin. I, I have a cousin. <laughs> she was at a wedding and her girlfriend told her that her brother is coming. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So her brother came from there. You understand? So wow. it works. But what I want to say is when you have been matchmaked and it's not working, I don't think you should go ahead. Like yeah. seriously, just let it go. Mm -hmm. no, and we, don't blame don't, the person that Don't blame the person and don't put yourself at, oh, it's not working, it must work. No, now yes. if it's not working, yeah. let it go. Let and it let go. the party that brought people, ah, Boss, auntie, it's not working. Let me Do you understand? Me. So don't force it because you are because most of the time they go ahead because of people involved. Yes. yes. Out of ah, this a, this auntie, auntie will not be yes. happy. Yes. Will not be yes. happy with me if we did not end up together. Most, no. most of the time, I'll even be in one. You know, you know personally. I'll even be in one. Be in one. As in, I found out that the guy was not what he was to my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So me, somebody else that I don't know, like serious. Mm -hmm. As in, this guy, as in, afar, we knew each other growing up. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? When the nurse said, okay, you guys to come together, blah, blah. Mm. So they said, they're calling me. So they're talking. I found that this person is a different person that we know. Mm, Everybody, yes. this, if I tell, that's why I saw my, my family that, oh, they say, ah, uh, Stephen is calling you. I said, I'm like, did you know that guy's a mom? In my family, they feel, uh, right now, I'm a billionaire. Mm, of course. They feel the guy is successful. Mm, he has money, he has everything. Mm. It's very well to do. So my people are like, Wait, so you like don't like money? I mean, they're asking me like, yeah, they feel I'm the one that, that has a problem. Yeah. Because this this young man is a saint to my family. Mm. But to me, I won't call him a demon because he's, he's not who he was, mm. as in who I, I thought or I feel he mm. was before yeah. I said that. Then even, you be like, you know, you're not picking your call. Who are you talking to? As in the way he talks to me. Mm. It's only the way, and this person is a love, this guy before now, I can vouch for him and say, this guy is 
he, 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 he marry him or whatever. Mm. Maybe because of his familiarity, mm. he's behaving like I don't know. No, I, I think person. from a distance, it's better to know yeah. some people at a distance mm. than to bring them. Yes, some yes. people exactly. are better friends. Yes. Yes. You realize no, that you, see, you are good friends with someone, and when you decide to go into yeah, a relationship yeah. with that person, the person out. will show you a totally different character. And you will yeah. run. And sometimes take what's in your heart do because it's you that will yes. be the one that will bear the consequences of everything your family may say ah it's good because they're seeing him on the surface yes. but in the room it's you that is collecting the verbal abuse yes. collecting the physical abuse and any other emotional abuse but you're coming out he's buying car for your yes. father now <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 when he's coming yes. to my home eh, he will buy my me I said my niece and my nephew. Mm. They are angry at me that mm. why did I why did I do that? <laughs> I'm like, I think what they say her block of Christian is not coming again like People are crazy. I don't say I because I stop talking about him because I'm like, people don't people don't even get a phone. She doesn't say it's terrible. You mean like I sent you money. Can't you just say thank you? I'm like, I've not seen it. I did you I said, you he's talking mm, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've had an experience like that where I happen to know this person. Sometimes, it, in fact, most times, it's better to, if you have somebody that is being close to you, it's good that you have them at a distance. You don't bring them you. to, you just see mm. them as friends, friends, yes, friends. Just day. day or day, let me just be like that. <laughs> so I had to just take a leap. I said, okay, let me just try now. Should we just, yeah, because let, me just, friends, let, me just yeah. let me just go out with the group and just buy. But I got to realize that the person, the angel that I knew him to be as a friend, mm. happened to be, I will use the word demon actually. Mm -hmm. Since you don't want to use it, let me just use it. <laughs> 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 I will give you the demon, yes. Yeah. So it was, I didn't place expectations on it. I was just like, okay, let's just try. Yes, it but then when yeah. I realized, I said, look, guys, it's, it's working. better. You are just at a distance. Mm -hmm. If you send me money, I'll say, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. fine. But then, man, I, we can't, can't continue with this. Because yes. it, was, it, was happen it happened to be that like I was over, overly jealous, mm. domineering, mm. intimidating. Possessive. Possessive. Ah, that intimidation is even the one that is very, very annoying. You must not say you want to achieve something like this. Say, eh. Ah, no, that's ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, really, I really feel, I really feel. Really no, bad. you see, but sorry, Akuna. I tell people now, maybe out of experience, I tell people that your friends. Wait, okay, you're full of experience. <laughs> uh, I'm almost 50 now. Uh, yes, so I'm 50 counts. minus two. So, what are we talking about? I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so I, I tell people your friend is never ever your lover. True. Your lover is different. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, they My, say it's better for you to, to marry be your friend. friend. Yes. No, no. When you are in a in that relationship, you relate with each other's like friends. friends. But people say no, that your when friend, your friend, when you should you marry, no, marry your friend. No, you see, marry your friend means that your relationship should be friend like. You understand? Mm -hmm. Not marry your your friend. I'm, I'm yet to understand. No. <laughs> I'm Let me tell you when, that when you are in you a relationship with, with like when you are like, when yes that's the word when you are in that relationship you should be able to relate like friends. Yes, yes, yes. that's what it means. I think that like, I relate. Marry yes. your yeah. friend. Not like but that, your, that's friend that's your friend before yeah. is never my ex was my friend for ten years. We never quarrelled one day. Hmm. One day we were good friends, right. good friends until okay. until a week before our marriage. Hmm. Jesus. <laughs> so I'm telling you from experience, and that marriage, you know, even when it ended, for three years I was trying to give myself a reason to go back. Mm. To that marriage yeah. i was you know there are times you want to give yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to give yeah. yourself a reason yeah. you want to, i couldn't find any it was that bad so, you so I, yes I, yes we could if we had remained friends we could still because even the outside world see him as the wonderful mm. you can relate joy mm. as yes. the best thank god i had some recordings nobody would have believed me that this is the same person mm. now, you understand okay. so that the, and the problem matchmaking also the problem because i he, i met him through my childhood friend my best friend the best friend though because of him now do you know that my friend doesn't talk to me again mm -hmm. that is another issue my friend does not in fact when we started having issues she'll be like hey hey my brother is good he's quiet he's good he's good so even in at the from the family side 
she that she's supposed to have known me from childhood mm. to stand up for me is my number one attacker. Mm. <laughs> so you can imagine. So yeah. that is why at times I, 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 I would rather do like joy. If I want to meet my meat, mm -hmm. let me meet my meat mm -hmm. yes. without anybody. Do your own okay. research. <laughs> you, 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 you know what? what? I, I want to say something, but I'll just call the numbers okay. uh, so that before I say what I want to say. So the numbers to call are 0810 608 1681. I'll take it again. 0810-608-1681 You can also call us on 0818-202-5883 or 818-202-5883 Now, I don't think personally there's anything wrong with matchmaking mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I think it's beautiful especially for the introverts and, and those who are quite reserved mm -hmm. for them to be able to meet people like for those who don't really go out a lot you know, apart from their normal church, work, TV, and church, church, work yeah. and church and in the end it becomes a bit tricky because it's not so good to keep dating people within your circle because mm, when you don't go you out mm. yeah you're always going to church and you're always going to work you end up dating your colleagues mm. or your church Trevor, members mm. and how many of them do you <laughs> keep <laughs> dating oh, because uh, yeah, that, that is only so. so for people like that matchmaking will be perfect mm. because they get to meet people beyond their social circle mm. Because you don't want to date two, three people in the same church. Mm -hmm. You don't want to date two, two, three colleagues in the same place. People that are not too friendly, that go out, you know, but can't relate. So it's good. And generally, even if you can relate and know, sometimes the people you would have never imagined you would have met, you would have met, you met them through match a, a matchmaker. Could be your friend or something. You even um, encourage your friend to help you or your, your, your cousin to help you match make because some people will post some people on their status mm. and they will be I, I actually have a friend <laughs> oh, really? yes I actually yes. have a friend who sometimes randomly she posts her single friends Ooh. yeah including me on her status she'll be like this 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 mm. for my single friends that are guys who mm. you know i want to be the perfect matchmaker now wow. all of you are ripe for marriage <laughs> <laughs> yes it's cute That's so cute. yeah so she means well yeah. but in the end if it doesn't work it's not for you to now turn out the villain or destroy yeah. your yeah. friendship mm -hmm. because the point about even knowing somebody when the two of you meet personally is to understand each other and realize that when it doesn't work you move the only difference with matchmaking is that there's somebody in the middle mm -hmm. but that somebody has done their job of putting you together so the person has washed the house you can't blame that person because the person can never know Everything, yes. everything about it. When I'm friends with somebody, a person is my brother. It's not the same thing with somebody that I'm in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. that I eat ah, with. I, I go out with. I sleep like with. Ah. I work with. Mm. I do everything. It's not the same when thing. When I don't see myself finish. Finish. So finish, the person nothing can never made. be the same and can never act mm. the same. Yeah. So matchmaking works. Because some people... Huh, that match make you save their whole entire generation. <laughs> they the men that they, up, the women, they never thought it could have happened. So it's beautiful. And people that, you know, in the same circle of what they've been dating, the same, you know, the same set of people. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like a breath of fresh air. Now, it, it, I think it's great. I don't well, see it. For, for me, it's a 50-50 thing. Yes. It's a 50, we cannot say uh, totally it's bad, totally it's wrong. Because... This is me that I will tell you personally, I don't think I want to be match made. But this is so, this, this so is wait. this same me. If I have wait, that this is the same me that is in my head. For my children. Don't use your answer yourself because I still won't find Baba like that. That's <laughs> <is evil. laughs> I will walk in no one. No for me. <laughs> Oh okay, now let's look at, looking at the origin mm, of honestly. matchmaking. Mm. On the contrary to all all of this point that we've made, very mm. beautiful point. But coming from the origin, there are there are various reasons why our parents back then actually did the matchmaking. Mm. Um, it didn't just originate from Africa. If you look at the Asian, con um, well, what, Asian what, continent, what is the reason? The reason, no, Asian some continent. of the reasons, some, some, of, their some of the matchmaking for their are selfish just interest. Yes. Yes. some of them are just contract based, mm. and some of yes. them is just for the Slavery. continuity of their ancestry. Mm. And some, oh, some no, you can use it. Yes, exactly. Slavery. So that's why they do most of those um, matchmaking yeah. back then. Oh well, for some, it's, it could just be for, exactly just be like oh. 
thank you yeah. very much for yeah. your for know, the favor you gave me. Daddy, my daughter, to me. So that matchmaking, really, and in uh, in India, it actually happens a lot. But yeah, now, in India, you're like, right. Yes. They are yes. very. Yes. They are right very now, it's quite flexible because of the whole so, social world. We are global village and all of that. But it still happens, the, mm, and they are being strict them. about it. And even when their children comes up, I I study. Okay, as a sociologist, I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, looking you know at the your Indian trumpet. <laughs> 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 so the Indians, they actually practice this a lot, yes. and not even their kids. Some of their kids, okay, they go. They already know. They, yes, they know already, so they just respect it. Oh, let's just try. Let's see this. Let's mm -hmm. see this lady. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let's see. This. And they just try to make it work because they saw their parents, so they were, they did the matchmaking, so it mm -hmm. works for them. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they are suffering, you know, and smiling, but yeah, they still mm -hmm. want to just go ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's just. I just want uh, to bring uh, the introduction. Also, matchmaking was actually a professional, you know, service. It's yeah, still yeah, is, yeah. But yeah, it, it still is. is. Then, um, historically, since mm. you brought history, yeah. in many cultures, many parents would, you know, meet a matchmaker. Okay, please, find a suitable spouse for my child. Mm. Yeah. And usually, the way it was, they had the upper class and then the lower class. Yes. So, find someone within, you know, yeah. that yeah, class yeah, range. Yeah, yeah. And then we also yeah. saw where, you know, royalty... I'm um, also married royalty, mm, like to exactly. to, to um, strengthen the yeah, alliance the and the, the the what is it called? Their countries, you know, to create that um, togetherness, that yeah. bond. Thank you very much. We also saw where um, uh, situations where people got married so because of their physical features and structure, mm -hmm. so that they would have uh, beautiful children, children exactly. you know, going forward. So, so many reasons. reasons so, in the end, people. all of the all the reason for matchmaking. It's quite positive. Mm -hmm. It's to yield good results. Result. Mm -hmm. So in the end, if I come to you and say, I saw a guy who I think he's nice. Although some matchmaking is not pimping, no. Mm. Let's not get it twisted. Pimping is I when you collect up. money for who up. Matchmaking. It's because of the romantic involvement, yeah. which usually ends in marriage. It's not, mm. don't mix it up with two couples. Mm. They say, I'm looking for a light skinned girl, six mm. feet two, mm -hmm. coffee and all. Mm -mm. Mm. Purpose of matchmaking goes beyond just the physical mm -hmm. features. It goes, also goes, yes, goes beyond hanging out. Hanging yeah. out. Uh, how can we uh, can we end together? Yeah, exactly. And during the times of uh, parents and grandparents, let me say grandparents mostly, like you said, they just say, oh, this family, oh, that family, they feel the bride price already. Mm. They just carry the load. Mm. 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 And you just start getting to know your mm. husband, yeah. you know, from there. And it happened like that. But thank God for technology now where someone even abroad can still relate with a lady yeah. that he's been introduced to. Yeah. Because we've, I even, you know, go through the, like Instagram on social media generally and I see some pages where they actually match make. A lot of people from abroad yes. try to match, match make with people in Nigeria because, you know, they, they don't want to uh, yeah, miss their culture. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. unfortunately, yeah. some of these... This um the concept of this matchmaking has been mis we have misconception about yeah. it. Because looking at the dating sites that we have now, mm. it is not it is no longer matchmaking matchmaking. The the mm. dating process the purpose of it is now is now disrupted. Mm. So you just go into the dating site. I've tried one. You go into the dating site, okay, yes, you meet somebody and all of this and then what do you my relationships? Yeah, just Ex to exactly <laughs> exactly. So it's no longer matchmaking anymore for me mm -hmm. in the world today. But mm -hmm. for those that do that status thing, they have a good common goal and common ground that mm -hmm. they but even in even in uh, Christendom now, I know mm -hmm. that some churches have you know programs yes, yes. not programs now they have dating standard sites. dating sites and yes, all I of think that some yes. people organize even programs in, yeah. for singles yeah. and you know there's a way of marketing they have it one day all of a sudden the pastor said ladies and gentlemen this is the time to meet <laughs> to mingle stand up and shake a lady no, i'm but, like but, <laughs> but do you know it's, it's actually I'm the like, first matchmaking <laughs> agencies in britain appeared in the 60s when parish vicars played a crucial role in matchmaking their parishioners with a spouse from the same social class mm. so matchmaking actually started in the, in church. In the church so it's no surprise yeah. that's that's the origin yeah so for used to see it now it's but even 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 you see now it's been modernized i remember the, <laughs> i remember those days as a young girl you know my father a a, a, a pastor of a church I remember he match made a lot of people, a lot of, mm. if, I'm, if he's watching this thing, let him, let him know and he'll be laughing. <laughs> a lot of people, and it, it really worked. My father would just, though he was really, really a spirit, Coco, you know, he would just sit down and say, ah, this person and this person, <clears throat> they should fit themselves. Yes. And because those days, Christianity, 
it, it's not more like now nah. christianity is you know like they, they are, their pastors are being you know they're like god and the pastors too they are they are so close spirit filled and all of that so once pastor says you are me. you <laughs> both of them <laughs> and i've seen, I've I, seen don't, I don't have a problem with that i've seen i, no, I've I don't, seen I don't have a problem with that when the pastor will say eh, this and this i think both of you will be mm. good together i prefer it to a pastor that will tell me god said <laughs> when you know that God did not say God is not talking eh? God yeah, said that he, A and B will be together an entirely new and table right honestly, now and you go into the marriage mm. with that kind of and at the yeah. end of the day everything will just be a mess but having really. said okay the numbers uh, we should call our numbers so that our, our, our listeners can join in the number is 0810 or zero eight one eight two zero two five eight eight three zero eight one eight two zero two five eight eight three call in let's hear your own view about this so you know like like i was saying that um, you, you see this match making thing i want to talk now to the matchmaker yeah. the matchmakers mm, that's why the reason why i don't like matchmaking most times the matchmakers are the problem yes because because the marriage the, this marriage must work oh. uh -huh. it must it work yes <laughs> and they begin most times they take sides yeah. if you are matchmaking people prepare to be neutral yeah. if it is your brother and your friend prepare not to take sides with your brother and as against your friend do we have a call it's a drop call mm -hmm. go ahead so prepare you know to be you know leave and open and just let them leave their thing whether it's going to work or it's not, it's not going to work, you know, it's not, it's not, because you have brought them together, it's not a must, it, it's not a must that it should work. Mm. It might work, it might not work. Just yeah. be neutral and let them live their lives. No, it's not compulsory for you to know what's going on in their lives and, you know, okay, we have a call. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good, good evening. evening. What's your name and where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Alabama, my name is Aurora. Okay, please go ahead. Were you match oh, we made? lost that one. Aww. Please do try and call us back. The numbers to call are 0810 608 1681 or 810 608 1681. Noga, please go ahead. I have a friend. Yeah. She returned her bride price the last two months. Wow. And um, the past, oh, she, she came to Lagos. She, she lives in Benin. She came to Lagos to stay at my place and you're just just you know like ah you are very bold oh you are mm. going to go to your husband's family house and go and tell him you're not getting married you're not mm. marrying again yeah after like two years so the pastor now called the pastor called and said uh what he has after joined two years what mm. he has joined yes it was work that he has never joined the marriage <laughs> are you <laughs> kidding me now <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you know the woman is dying yes, <laughs> <laughs> so, can so you her, imagine like, that because we grew up together in Benin. Mm. so she was like i was like and i said sir if it's your daughter that is in this kind of marriage do you allow her to mm. continue this marriage mm. he said who is talking i said i'm a, my sister is in lagos with me if it's your daughter Mm. If it's your daughter is in this marriage, mm. you allow her to continue. I'm not supporting that she's married. I'm not, I'm not, but I can't see her suffer like this. Mm. But I'm even happy she took this step. I didn't think, I, when she was saying it, mm. I thought maybe she was, you know, women will say, I want to leave my husband, I want yeah. to leave. Mm. Not leave. Mm. When she said she went to go and talk, so I said, you know what she has gone through? Yeah. For mm. her to take, take that, that, take that yeah. step. Mm. Her family did not go with her. She went by herself. Mm. Wow. Mm. She went by herself. Mm. That she didn't even want to family hear any family telling and her that return no, your yeah. money and mm. you are not you are not even saying okay come let me talk to you mm. yes you understand know, for your lady to do this you know that the thing has got into no return mm. Mm -hmm. this is a man she got married to mm. eh? she got married to this man no not only for her he got married to her because of her family mm. not mm -hmm. because he loved her they had money mm. yes he's in he's in dubai under her own everything Oh wow! Mm -hmm. She got a job in Dubai. She was working in Abuja because of this guy. She resigned. I came back. To she went idea. to Benin. Mm -hmm. They got there. She got a job in Abuja, in uh, in uh, Dubai. She said no, that she's not taking. Her sister got her that job in, in Dubai. She said she's not, she's not taking the job. That her husband should take the job. Are you mm -hmm. That man went to Dubai, took that job. Her brother sent money for him to get a house in Dubai. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. God's a house of prayer, God. So, so as in, as in she, she, she sacrificed the Lord. That's so he went to, he went to, he went to uh, 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 Dubai, stayed there for two years. This guy had not sent one naira. She has a daughter. Her sister had to take the daughter. Her sister is in Lagos. Her sister took the daughter. So her sister is she's a young person now. So he went to relieve her. So she, at least let her be going to work and, you know, be relieved of the stress of carrying her child and everything. Uh, and so this guy did not spend for two, for two years. He did not send money for the child. And when you say, let's talk to your child, you say, I will visit that later. That's the word he normally use. Mm. Because he sends me his, his uh, chat. Mm. Like, don't worry, I'll talk to you. He doesn't send money. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't call her. Mm. He's someone that helps you. Mm. The house that you're living in, Bini. She bought the land. Wait. And okay. No guy is angry. The, yes. Angry. So <laughs> is, is she, who <laughs> introduced yeah. them? It was a matchmaking. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't a matchmaking. It was just. So why, uh, how did the pastor now come in? The say? pastor is the one that uh, did the marriage now. I so said everybody... that what we joined together, nobody That's should be Yes, <laughs> I'm just thinking of that aspect. Are, what pastor the, the is going together? The entitlement to not tell somebody that because you, you yeah, did not you know, the your marriage. And I can, yeah, I can feel the So the person thing. cannot say no to the wedding. Exactly, mm -hmm. hands off if you hands put off. there and it's not working. Hands off. You understand what I'm saying? Alright, let me call the numbers one more time. No guy is upset. No guy. Take a bottle of champagne and show you the number. Just be coming down. Come in down. Be coming down. The numbers to call are 0810 608 1681. 0810 608 1681. You can also call us on 0818 202 Now, I want to, I, I'm, I'm on the internet and I'm looking at some things. Now, they said, what are the features of a matchmaker? What to look for in a good matchmaker? A good matchmaker cares about their clients. Mm. Put efforts into knowing what they prefer and ensure that they both have lasting relationships. They want to find that special person and will do everything to make that happen. Ah. <laughs> okay, oh, I think we just have a drop yeah. call. I don't know. I think the network is a bit bad. Yeah. So, a good matchmaker is emotionally intelligent. You have to be sensitive and treat other people with respect. Yeah. Is at ease with people, have a giving heart, persistence, have patience, basically. So, when you are trying to match make others, I know this one is for a professional, a professional match matchmaker that will collect money. Mm. But nowadays, Would people are just to collect money. Yes, it's a job. Mm. It's a job. Mm. They are professional matchmakers. That is, oh, my daughter wants to get my deeds. What picture. if the relationship didn't work out? No. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they have done their they, part. At least the relationship was established. Yes, they have done mm. their part. These are age. Okay, some people will do the horoscope, and these are these, these, and that, the Indians, and they will, yeah, the they will, they will, they will but, put but, them together. I'm, I'm mm. sorry, but so we we'll look at that kind of thing. But then now we have the informal matchmakers. Could be your cousin, your sister, your mm. friend, mm. your pastor, your auntie. In fact, it could be a cleaner somewhere or a security man or just somebody random, your cashier or somebody who say, ah, mm. I've been seeing this man coming to, you know. So just try and understand the two parties. See that they have similar features and that they they would work together. But that, that was what Morgan was saying. That you cannot you tell. Can't tell. You can't tell. You will see someone and best. say, ah, this person is perfect, is good you for try you. Your best. And when you get to know this person, you will now discover that, ah, this is, is not what I thought or is not what... What, what I always what advise you always to, you to and, and men, and you know, men, men, not really, not, I don't want to use that word deceptive. <laughs> but I want to say that they know how they, they know how to manipulate. Yeah, they, they know how to manipulate you know, yeah, their face. You will see a man the come men, to the, they live a tool. Double two life. Faced, yeah, two faced, two -faced life. Mm. Double we, life. We, yeah. Okay. If wow. if that is what you yeah, say. Deceptive. But you that will is. see them come into a family, they will buy stuff, yeah. you know, buy things. Just practically oh, nice. buy the yeah, whole family. Loving, you know? Yeah. And people will not be seeing you just like what no yes. People will not be seeing you. Wait, which that. winch they worry you for head? Yeah. You know they see road. You know, so I don't know why men some men are like that. They will want they will just buy your family. So that they won't see anything wrong with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when there is no, when there is a problem, or when the relationship is not working, everybody will like. What did they worry? You? Yeah, you know they see yeah, a problem. All right, we do not have too much time on our hands, so we'll just um, give our parting shots uh, before we leave. I don't know what's wrong with the phone lines today. Uh, we keep having drop calls. We apologize for that, but let me just call the number uh, one more time. I'll just take this particular number: zero eight one zero six zero eight one six eight one. 0810-608-1681 uh, Please try and call us back and drop your um, own opinion 
on matchmaking tell us if you were match made if your relationship is working if you're having issues with it if it's something you will want to you know tell people to do to do yeah I, I've seen but a honestly, number of if you calls, ask me, having job calls, mm. right, why I can't? think it's a network. Mm. Uh, if you ask me, do I do I really want to match make people? I'll say, no. Honestly, I love my peace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because when they fight today, they will call you. Down, eh? it's you. It's you. <laughs> One thing I do, I try to, or I try not to do is, if someone introduces me to somebody and it doesn't work out, mm. I don't yeah. start calling the person and telling the person that yes. oh, this is this, keep that, moving. That. Honestly, is, the, is the person I'm even later ask me so how far now? I'm like how far we <laughs> talk? <Don't laughs> you didn't work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no guy, your party short. Honestly, your party short know, is, and if you are introduced to someone, that's not the end. It's not that it's not it's not by force. It's mm. not a gun to your head that you must marry this person. <laughs> the person is not if people are not gelling. Mm. I don't understand if people are not gelling as in the beginning. I don't understand how people do it. So I don't know. You move now. You are not tied to him. You're not tied to her. So it's not it'll be open, now. It's yeah. open. It'll yeah. be open. Yeah, open. 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 You just you just bounce. It will be better. Mm. Yeah, you just bounce because at the end of the day, when you get married and it doesn't work, it's not like a is a is a is a, a, a triangle thing. Uh, it's not nice because mm. it will go back to the person that brought you guys together. So you guys should just you know allow it go if it's not working. It's not by force. All right. So what do you enjoy? Mm. For me. Matchmaking is a no no. <laughs> it's a no no for me because I I, I want to. I want to I want to make my mistake and learn from them. Mm. I don't want to say uh, this person. If not for you, you are the one that put me into this problem. No, let me just find a man, decide on my own whether to go ahead with the relationship or, or not. not. Because I've seen so many people that were match made, and at the end of the day, they didn't. In fact, they, they knew that the marriage is not going to work, but because of the person involved, mm. because of the person that match made, maybe one Sentiment. one auntie or one uncle that is wealthy out mm. there, you know, is looking at them. Then this marriage mm. must work, and at the end of the day, they go into a relationship that no. So matchmaking is a no no for me. My name is Joyable. Yes, to you. Okay, for my own parting note, I would say mar- uh, matchmaking is like I wanted to say marriage. <laughs> Matchmaking is actually a beautiful thing when the intentions are clear mm-hmm. and the motives are right. Okay. Some people they go into matchmaking and they, they do this matchmaking thing and they say, Oh, this is why I want us to be together. It's based on this social contract. Mm-hmm. I know of someone who actually went into it and said, Look, babe, I just want you to carry I'm not marrying you. Like we just we just make this thing work. Mm-hmm. You carry my baby. I'm done. He has money, he's a rich guy. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't mm-hmm. like women mm-hmm. just in his mm-hmm. house because this is neat guy freak he doesn't like anything he just wow. said just carry my baby i'll pay you off but boy it was true matchmaking mm. and then he made and the contract and it was clear so matchmaking is actually beautiful for me well <laughs> it's beautiful but they just make your intentions clear it's not babies are getting match me. Mm. Don't deceive the person. Yes, actually, on this official note, I'm right. just a mouthpiece. Tisha. All, All right. right. Okay. I would say for me, I want to talk because uh, there's something that I've really experienced. I want to talk to the matchmakers themselves. When you matchmake people, try to remain neutral. Try to stay off. They are like Tosin said. They are adults. Yeah. They can. They should make their mistakes. Yeah make their decisions and then move on themselves mm, exactly. and it, whether it works or it doesn't work it's none of your business it's none of your business it's and it should work. not affect your relationship with okay. either of them make up your mind from day one that you are matchmaking those people that they are going to live their lives you won't be a part of it. Yeah. You have brought them together. Just stay off. My name is Zinka Kenny. All right, fantastic. Um, thank you to all the ladies. You dropped beautiful um, end notes uh, there. So I'll just say, let the matchmakers breathe. Let them allow Give them, breathe them space. to breathe. Because they introduced you, but <laughs> they only had good intentions. Mm. So don't come back and start attacking them if it doesn't work. No, exactly. that has something to say. Please, for the matchmakers, please. 
Also tell them when you are matchmaking them that it's not by force. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't die here. Yeah. Because I introduce you people, people mm. not say much. No, no, no. <laughs> because at least if you if you tell them that they'll know that it's not a big deal. Let's just try. It doesn't mm. work. You know, for the professional ma- for the professional matchmakers, they actually have the set guidelines and they read it out to them. Mm-hmm. And be responsible. Yes. No, no, most of the time when those elder sisters or brothers or matchmakers, they, yes, they okay, 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 that kind of matchmaker. You know I'm saying. So yes. please, also tell them that. See, you to try it out. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? It's better that way. And another thing again I want to add is that be responsible for your action. If if, if you do something, mm-hmm. don't bl- blame anybody. Yeah, don't say it's yeah. this person that put me into it. Yeah. Just be responsible for your actions. As in, you know, mm-hmm. make your mistake, learn and move on. Oh, don't oh, blame. Yeah, don't no. wake somebody early in the morning and <laughs> say you are even you are the one that put me into this mm-hmm. marriage. Yeah, no, be that's like a childish behavior. Yeah, yeah, and all right, just also just because you're a matchmaker does not mean. You must make you must make sure it works. Yes, it does not have to always work. Yes, and a lot of times we see that matchmakers could even be parents. Parents are very they have a lot Pressure. of checks up their yes. sleeves, so they will always want to introduce because they want their kids to get married mm-hmm. and all that. It could be your older sister. Or, yes, don't force it. If it doesn't work and the person comes to tell you, let it go. Mm. And you too, don't be afraid that, oh, it's my mom and dad that introduced yes. us, so, mm. or it's my big auntie, so I don't mm. want them to come. No, if it, because it's a lifetime thing. Yeah. Don't go and die in silence. And at the end of yeah. the day, it is your life. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Every other person will only rejoice mm. or exactly. sympathize with mm-hmm. you. Mm. Exactly. You will bear the brunt of exactly. whatever comes out of it. Mm. Okay, we have to go now. I'm so sorry, Lagos. You couldn't call today. The network has been quite horrible. Big thank you to Maria Atolagbe. Yeah. Um, she was actually there holding the cameras all true. Uh, we'll be right back next week. Do not forget, we're coming back with a very hot topic. Something hotter than this one. I'm so glad to have had you ladies in the studio. YK, Naga, Tosi, Joy. Hey. And of course, Maria. Hey. My name is Akuna Iyama. I'll leave you in the able hands of Moses, Mose Mo, the cruise captain, who'll be doing his job mm, of matchmaking match match yeah. <laughs> this particular so one you works want, you want to be match made <laughs> yeah. stay logged stay on to this, this particular channel. one works we've had testimonies yes. and of course I'll leave you in the evil hands of um, Nas and Damian Mali the, ta- the song is titled Patience Sabali you need patience too if you want that relationship to work yes. Evil Metro 97.7 FM bye thank you Stella Vista Oh, yes. so yeah, yeah, yeah.